Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel and with a little early Saturday morning baseball. And it's going to be the retro replay of the 1948 World Series Game 1. Hope everyone's doing well. As Dog Sidious has joined us in the chat, and he says, let's go tribe. As my second screen, the Kindle just will not cooperate. Oh, you yes. bad word, Kindle. <laughs> there we go. What the fudge? What's going on here? There we go, finally. Okay. A little place setting. So this is game one of the 1948 World Series, and we're going to use the Wonderful baseball sim game out of the park. Baseball 19 as the sim engine. I'll be playing as the Boston Braves. The computer out of the park 19 engine will be managing the Cleveland Indians. And in 1948, Cleveland won the American League Championship with a one-game playoff victory over the Boston Red Sox. Could have been an all-Boston affair for the World Series, but it wasn't. It was not meant to be. I believe Cleveland beat them 8-3. to three. And Cleveland would have a 97-58 and 58 record, win the American League pennant. They take on the Boston Braves, who finished 91-62. and 62. So Cleveland was 97-58, and 58, Boston 91-62. and 62. Starting pitchers for Cleveland, Bob Feller, 19-15 and 15 with three saves, earned run average 3.56, will be taking on Johnny Sane. For the Boston Braves, 24 and 15 with one save and a 2.60 earned run average. Starting lineups are posted in the chat and on the page, and we're going to get to them right now. So, hopefully you'll enjoy. And we don't know if we're going to bring you the whole World Series, but I just felt like playing this, and I'm up. So I said, let's play the 48 World Series game one. These are as played lineups with the as played uh, pitching matchup. Out of baseball reference. So for the visiting Cleveland Indians, batting first, playing left field, Dale Mitchell. Batting second, the center fielder, Larry Dolby. Batting third, playing shortstop, the player manager, Lou Boudreau, who would go on to manage the Boston Red Sox. Batting fourth, the second baseman, Joe Gordon. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Ken Keltner. Batting 6th, the right fielder, Wally Judnich. Batting 7th, the first baseman, Eddie Robinson. Batting 8th, doing the catching, Jim Hegan. And batting ninth, doing the pitching, Bob Feller. For the Boston Braves, batting 1st, the right fielder, Tommy Holmes. Batting 2nd, the shortstop, Al Dark. Batting third, the first baseman, Earl Torgensen. Batting fourth, the third baseman, Bob Elliott. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Marv Rickert. Batting sixth, the, doing the catching, Bill Salt, Sark, Salkeld. Batting seventh, the center fielder, Mike McCormick. Batting eighth, the second baseman, Eddie Stanky. Batting ninth, towing the rubber for the Boston Braves here in game one of the 1948 retro replay of the World Series, Johnny Sane. And let's start the ball game. Again, Dog City is joining us in the chat. Check out that wonderful channel, all things Star Wars and entertainment, Dog City. How's the sound, dog? Oh boy. We're not going to use that view. There we go. Well, look at that wild view. Yeah, we need to switch that. <laughs> 3D. Uh, it's giving us the left field view. That's a bit confusing. Yeah, hold on. Bear with me a moment. Options. View. Uh, 
There we go, much better. Wide camera view. <laughs> All right, so here we go. On the mound for the brave Johnny Sane, 24 wins, 15 losses. Striking out 137, walking 83. ERA 2.60 behind the plate. Bill Salt, uh, Saltkeld, seven out of ten arm, seven out of ten defense. Elliott's at third for the Braves, six out of ten defense. Al Darts at short, seven out of ten. Eddie Stanky outstanding at second, nine out of ten. And Earl Torgerson is a six out of ten at first. So that's a very solid defensive infield for the 1948 Boston Braves. Marv Rickards in left, five out of ten defense, six out of ten arm. And Mike McCormick's in center. Not much range at all. 1 out of 10, but he has a cannon for an arm. 8 out of 10. Tommy Holmes in right. 6 out of 10 defensive range and defense. 9 out of 10 arm. And here comes Dale Mitchell to lead things off for the Cleveland Indians. Mitchell in 1948 batted 336. 4 home runs, 56 runners knocked in. Excellent contact hitter, 10 out of 10. Very little power, 2 out of 10. With an average eye, 5 out of 10. Left-handed pull hitter. The Boston Braves infield will shift hard right. Outfield plays straight away in normal. Johnny Sane picks up the sign from Salkel. And here's the pitch. Game 1 of the Retro World Series 1948. Ball game on its way. And that's a bunt. Sane comes off the mound, fires to first for out number one. So Mitchell tries to bunt his way on. Did not work. And here comes Larry Dolby. Larry Dolby, Cleveland center fielder. 301, 14 homers, 66 runners knocked in. 9 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 eye. He's a left-handed normal hitter. Thank you very much, Dog Sidious. He says the sound is good, picture is good. Greatly appreciate his feedback. So one out, no one on. Johnny Sane looks in, picks up the sign. Here's the pitch to Larry Dolby. Full count to Dolby, and Dolby works a walk. So Dolby's at first. He's a chance to steal. Six out of ten speed, seven out of ten stealing ability. And here comes Lou Boudreau, player manager for the Indians. Again, would go on to manage the Red Sox in the early 50s. Boudreaux batted 355, 18 homers, and 106 ribbies. I believe he was also the MVP in 1948. He's a right-handed normal hitter. Excellent contact, 10 out of 10. Power, 6 out of 10. That's above average. I, 8 out of 10. The Braves will move in a double play depth up the middle. As Torgensen holds Dolby on at first, Dark and Stanky pinch the middle for the Braves here. Sane trying to get on the same page as uh, Salkel. Now he's ready to work the windup and the pitch to Boudreaux. Full count to Boudreaux. They come inside and back-to-back -back walks. As Johnny Sane a little wild. Sane quality of pitch is 4 out of 10, which is below average, but movement and control 8 out of 10. But he has a little wild streak early in this game. So one out, two on. And here comes Joe Gordon. Joe Gordon, as you can see, played for the Yankees. I don't think that's the same Joe Gordon. Might be. I don't think so, though. This could be the, a different Joe Gordon's pitcher. Well, this is the pitcher they loaded. I don't think that's the right pitcher, though. Maybe it is. Uh, Joe Gordon batted 280, 32 home runs, 124 runners knocked in, 8 out of 10, uh, or 7 out of 10 for contact against right handed pitching, 8 out of 10 for power, 6 out of 10 for eye. He's a right handed pull hitter. The Braves infield will shift left, outfield straight away in normal. Johnny Sane hoping to induce a double play ball. Salk held. Wiggles the finger, sets the target. Here's the pitch to Joe Gordon. 1-2 count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Gordon goes down. Way out in front of the curve. So two outs, two on. Top of the first. Game 1, 1948 World Series here at Braves Field. 
and Ken Keltner steps to the plate. Indians third baseman Keltner batted 297, 31 homers, 119 runners knocked in. 8 out of 10 for contact and power, 7 out of 10 for eye. He's a right handed pull hitter. Braves infield shifts left. Sane one out away from pitching out of this first inning jam. He rocks and fires to Keltner. 3 1 count and another walk. Wow. So Johnny Sane has walked the bases loaded. The Indians do not have a hit. Two outs, and here comes Wally Judnich, the right fielder. And Judnich, Judnich batted 257, two homers, 29 ribbies. Left handed pull hitter. Excellent speed at third, and Larry Dolby. We're going to shift right guard third. Outfield straight away in normal. No place to put Judnich. Salkel. Pounding the mitt sets the target. Impl imploring Johnny Sane to throw it in the strike zone. Here's the pitch to Judnich. Two outs. Bases juiced. And he walks in a run. Holy cow. Four walks in the inning for Johnny Sane and it's one nothing Indians and here comes Eddie Robinson the first baseman for the Indians Robinson 254 16 homers 83 ribbies 6 out of 10 for contact and power with an average eye of 5 out of 10 he's a left handed spray hitter he uses all fields Sane takes a deep breath Arms down to his chest. He kicks and fires to Eddie Robinson. And he walks him on four straight pitches. And it's 2 nothing Indians. Dog Sidious is bringing tremendous luck to his beloved Cleveland Indians here. And it's 2 nothing Cleveland. And here's Jim Hegan, the catcher. Mr. Hegan batted 248, 14 homers, 61 ribbies. Contact, 6 out of 10. Power, 5 out of 10. Along with an eye, 5 out of 10. On deck is Bob Feller. Johnny Sane has to settle down here. He has walked five in this inning. The Indians still don't have a hit, but they have a 2 0 lead. The windup and the pitch to Hegan. 3 2 count. And now he has walked six. 3 0. A man who has 8 out of 10 control has been god awful. In that department, six batters walked, three runs crossed the plate. Holy cow. And here's Bob Feller. You better not walk the pitcher. Sane has a word with the catcher, Bill Salkeld. Salkeld back behind the plate now. Sane needs to get Feller out. He rocks and fires the Feller. One, two count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. But what a miserable inning. For the Boston Braves and Johnny Sane, Cleveland scores three without the assist of one single hit. Johnny Sane walks six. So three nothing Cleveland. We go to the bottom of the first to a shocked fan base here. At Braves Field. Do up for Boston, Holmes, Dark, and Torgensen to face Bob Feller. Bob Feller, the fireballer. 19 and 15 with three saves, 3.56 earned run average. Striking out 164, walking 116. 5 out of 10 quality of pitches, 7 out of 10 movement, 5 out of 10 control. Again, that fluctuates between right handed and left handed batters. Hegan behind the plate. 10 out of 10 defense, 9 out of 10 arm. Lots of blue in that infield. Keltner, 8 out of 10 at third. Boudreau, 10 out of 10 at short. And Joe Gordon, 9 out of 10 at second. Eddie Robinson, well, he's green. That's still really good. 7 out of 10 at first. Dale Mitchell's in left, 8 out of 10 defense, 10 out of 10 arm. Larry Dolby, outstanding in center. 9 out of 10 for both defense and arm. And Wally Judnich. 
5 out of 10 defense, 7 out of 10 arm. Let's see if the Braves can get something going against Bob Feller. Feller throws strikes. Holmes will take a pitch, left-handed batter. Tommy Holmes. Batted 325, 6 homers, 61 ribbies in 1948. Here's the pitch from Feller. And that is a strike fastball in there. 0-1 count. Holmes ready to grip and rip. Hegan sets the target. Feller rocks and fires full count. And that's a walk. Oh, my Lord. Seven walks in the top of the first combined for both teams now. Does Bob Feller have the Johnny Sane disease? Stepping to the plate for the Boston Braves. Right-handed batting shortstop. Al Dark. 322, three homers, 48 ribbies. 9 out of 10 contact versus right-handed pitching. Very little power, 2 out of 10. And he will chase, 3 out of 10 eye. Here's the pitch to Dark. He's taking. And that's a ball. Dark will take until he gets a strike. And that's a ball. So that off-speed pitch miss. 2-0 count. Holmes, a very slow runner at first, being held on by Eddie Robinson. Hegan imploring Feller to hit the target. The wind-up and the pitch to Al Dark. And that's ball three. Holy cow. As I've never seen this before. So 3-0 count. Dark puts the bat on his shoulders. He awaits the Feller offering. And Feller finally puts one in. The strike zone right down the middle. 3-1. Holmes at first. Infield, outfield, straight away and normal for the Indians. Hoping to induce a double play ball here is Bob Feller. Picks up the sign from Hegan. He kicks and delivers to Dark. 3-1. And he walked him. So first and second, tying run comes to the plate. And Oral Torgensen. So that's eight walks in the first inning by both pitchers combined. And here's Earl Turgensen, the first baseman. And in 48, he batted 253, 10 homers, 67 ribbies. 6 out of 10 contact, 5 out of 10 power. Excellent eye against right-handed pitching, 9 out of 10. Here's the pitch to Turgensen. Full count. And he walks! I think the game's busted. <laughs> this could be a bizarro moment here, folks. So bases are loaded. And Feller just cannot find the plate. Hegan goes out to have a word with him. Comes back behind the plate. And here's Bob Elliott, the third baseman. Elliott, in 1948, 283, 23 home runs, 100 ribbies. If he goes yard, the Braves will take a 4-3 lead. 7 out of 10 for contact and power. He, too, has an excellent eye. 9 out of 10. He awaits the Feller offering. Wind up and the pitch by Bob Feller. 3-0 count, ball four, as he misses on the off-speed pitch, or the fast putt. I guess that was a fastball, and it's 3-1. to one. Base is still juiced, no outs for Marv Rickard. And Rickard batted 231, no homers, two ribbies. Someone must have been hurt for him to be starting in left field. Contact, poor, 3 out of 10. Power, even poorer, 2 out of 10. And eye is god-awful, 1 out of 10. He will be taking. Feller needs to get this out. Here's the pitch to record. And that's ball gazillion. He'll take again. Another ball. Wow. So bases juice, 2-0 count. On deck is the catcher, Salkhead. Rickard puts the bat on the shoulder. Hegan sets the target. Feller rocks and fires. Ball three. I definitely think the game's broke. Feller takes a deep breath. Arms down to his chest. The wind up and the pitch. And strike in there. So Feller gets a strike in. I mean, this has not been what you call a stellar pitching inning. 
So 3-1 count. Rickard's going to take again. Feller deals. Ball four. Holy cow. It's 3-2. to two. All runs by both teams have been scored on walks. No one has got a hit yet, and five runs are up on the board. The game could be busted since the last update. And this is wow. Uh, stepping to the plate, Bill uh, Salkeld, the catcher. And Salkeld batted 242, 8 homers, 28 ribbies. Hello, ID gesture. Hope all is well. Left handed batting catcher. 5 out of 10 contact, 6 out of 10 power, 7 out of 10 eye. He'll be taking. And let's see if uh, Feller can uh, walk his sixth batter here. Here's the pitch to Salk. And there's a first pitch strike. Holy cow. As Feller goes to the changeup. No balls, one strike. Salkeld looks down to the third base coach. Now steps back in the left-hander's batter's box. Feller picks up the sign from Hegan. He deals. One-two count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So one out. Base is still juiced for the number eight batter, the center fielder, Mike McCormick. And McCormick batted 303, one home run, 39 ribbies, 9 out of 10 contact, very little power, 1 out of 10, and 6 out of 10 high. He's going to get the green light here. Feller deals to McCormick, 1 2 count, strike 3! So Feller settled down, at least for the moment. So. Feller has walked five, struck out two. Still, five runs have scored in this first inning for both teams combined. No hits yet. As Johnny Sane walked six and struck out two. Actually, he might have struck out the side. And here's Eddie Stanky, the eighth batter for the Boston Braves. Stanky, second baseman, batted 320, two homers, and 29 ribbies. 7 out of 10 contact, 2 out of 10 power, 8 out of 10 eye. Feller takes a deep breath, arms down to his chest, the big windup and the pitch to Eddie Stanky. 1-0 count, Stanky swings, sends that ball, center field, Dole beyond the run to the right, makes the catch, side retired, but this was the craziest inning of baseball I have seen in quite a long while. Remember to check out ID Gesture's wonderful channel. Sports, military strategy, RPG games, and also check out Dog Sidious. All things Star Wars and entertainment. We go to the top of the second, and it's 3 to 2 Cleveland. Neither team has a hit. Johnny Sane in the first inning uh, walked six, struck out two. He has three runs he gave up on walks. Due up. For the Indians, atop of the order, Mitchell, Dolby, and Boudreaux. Mitchell's 0 for 1. He struck out. Boston's infield will shift right on the left-handed pull hitter. They'll go hard shift right. Outfield straight away and normal. Same deals to Mitchell. Full count. And oh my God, walk number 7. Wow. He has 8 out of 10, 7 out of, well, again, it fluctuates a bit, but yeah, overall, 8 out of 10 control. Here comes Larry Dolby, and Dolby walked his first time up. Torgensen holding Mitchell on. I don't want to pitch to contact. We might have to start doing that. All right. Dolby, left-handed normal hitter. Braves move to double play depth. Up the middle with Dark and Stanky. Here's the pitch to Larry Dolby. 1-2 count. And strike three looking. So Sane has three strikeouts to go with his seven walks. And here comes player manager MVP of 1948, Lou Boudreaux. And Boudreaux walked his first time up. He's a right-handed normal hitter. Decent pop, 6 out of 10. Again, the Braves hoping to turn two up the middle. 
with Dark and Stanky. Torgensen holding Mitchell on. Boudreaux awaits the Johnny Sane offering. Here's the pitch homeward bound. 0-1 pitch. And that's a ground ball to short. And that will be a double play to end the inning. 6-4-3. to four to, three. to the cheers of the Braves fans here. We go. Bottom of the second. 3-2 to two Cleveland. Still no team has a hit. Due up for the Boston Braves of 1948. Johnny Sane and Holmes and Dark to face Bob Feller. Johnny Sane at the plate. He awaits the Feller offering. Here's the pitch. 1-2 count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with a 93 mile per hour, per hour fastball. Top of the order, Tommy Holmes. He walked his first time up. Altogether, Feller and Sane have walked 12 batters. All right. Egan goes through the signs. Feller nods his head. Here's the pitch to Tommy Holmes. Full count. And he lines out to the second baseman, Gordon. So that's two down. Base is empty for Al Dark. So Feller seems to have his control issues under control. As I.D. Gesture says, highest scoring no hitter in history. I agree. Dog City has said Feller and Sane partied a little too much last night. Seems so, but they seem like the, the hangover's over, I guess. So here's Al Dark, shortstop. He walked his first time up. Two outs, no one on. Feller deals to Dark. Full count. And Dark checks his swing, and he walks. And that's walk number six for Bob Feller. That's 13 walks combined for both teams. Tying run at first, and here comes Earl Torgensen. Torgensen, you guessed it, he walked his first time up. Dark will be off on contact with two outs. Robinson holding Dark on, very slow base runner. Here's the pitch to Earl Torgensen. Full count to Torgensen, swing and a miss, strike three. That's strikeout number four for Feller. We go to the top of the third, 3-2, to two, Cleveland. Due up for the American League champions, Gordon, Keltner, and Judnich to face Johnny Sane. Johnny Sane in two innings has given up no hits. He's given up three earned runs. You want to know how? Seven walks. He struck out three. So here's Joe Gordon. Right-handed pull hitter. Boston Braves will shift left in the infield. Gordon has some pop, so we're going to shift left in the outfield also. Mike McCormick, again, no range in center. Here's the pitch to Joe Gordon from Sane. 3-1 count, and that's walk number eight. And there's some milling going around in the Boston Braves bullpen now. Torgensen to hold Joe Gordon on at first. Not a speedy runner. Decent base stealer, though. And here comes Ken Keltner. Keltner, guess what he did his first time up? Walked. He's a right-handed pull hitter. Again, they'll shift left in the infield, the Braves will. And he's a very good power hitter. He had 31 home runs in 48. The outfield will shift left. Torgensen holding Gordon on. Sane throws over. And safe. Gordon gets back. Here's the pitch to Keltner from Sane. 3-1 count. Good God almighty, he walks another batter. Oh, man. In reality, Johnny Sane and Bob Feller went the distance, and Boston beat Cleveland 1-0. And this is not reality. It's a retro replay, and for some reason, as Dog City has said, I think these guys party too hardy the night before. And we're going to have to get someone up in the bullpen here. Going to get. Well, Spawn obviously pitches tomorrow. I got lefty, righty, righty, lefty. They have a few lefties. Stamina one. Stamina one. Oh, 
I'm gonna get Al Lyons up. And Clyde Schoen. Righty lines the righty shown the lefty. As we're hoping, uh, Johnny Sane will steady the ship here. Three to two, Cleveland. No team has a hit. There's been an unbelievable amount of walks. Sane has walked nine batters while striking out three. And here is Wally Judnich. And he walked in a run his first time up. No outs, first and second. Gordon at second, Keltner at first. Judnich, a left-handed pool hitter. Indians will, uh, Braves will shift right, guard third base in the infield. Outfield straight away and normal. And we're going to pitch the contact. Here's the pitch. And he walked him. My God, we pitched a contact. Holy cow. Ten walks. What the hell is wrong with you, Johnny Sane? As the saying went, uh, spawn insane and pray for rain. We better pray for rain right now. I played a game today, too. And it wasn't into the... Wow, this is just a bizarro... <laughs> wow, that's all I can say. And yeah, let's go mound visit here. As it doesn't look like Johnny Sane's going to make it through three innings. Where's the mound visit? There we go. I feel good. I really do. Well, you're lousy. All right. At the plate. So we have our lefty shown ready. It's Eddie Robinson. He's walked 10. We're going to go to our lefty, Eddie. And he's good. I mean, oh, my God. No, I, I can't do it. I, I'm going to go with my lefty, uh, Schoen. So Clyde Schoen will come in. That's it for Johnny Sane, who does not get out of the third inning. Base is loaded. No outs. 3-2 to two Cleveland. Holy cow. Uh, it's a possibility, ID. ID says, I think after the last patch, the game got broke. Bad. I played a game, though. I played a game when I was watching you. I was going back and forth between your stream and my friend JD's stream. And uh, I was playing my 72, which is now my 73 Boston Red Sox Open World Alternate Universe with all, you know, different types of players. That's the one I have Pete Rose on the team. And it worked fine. The game played wonderfully. All right, so here comes Clyde Schoen. And Clyde Schoen, as you see him there, five wins, one loss. And it, Four saves in 1948. 25 strikeouts. He walked 20. Oh, God. He, he has control issues. 4.01 earned run average. But yet he has an 8 out of 10 overall control. 7 out of 10 movement. Quality of pitches. He's got to hit his spots. Only 3 out of 10. So that's well below average. So base is juiced. And here's Eddie Robinson. And guess what he did his first time up? He walked and got a ribby. No place to put Eddie Robinson left-handed spray hitter we're gonna go double play depth in the infield with dark and stanky up the middle Schoen picks up the sign from Salkev here's the pitch to Eddie Robinson he swings at the first pitch sends a fly ball to left and racing towards left center field making the catch and the runners will hold. Nice running catch by the left fielder, Rickert. And the fans here for the Boston Braves cheer as it's not a walk. So one out. Base is still loaded for the number eight batter, Jim Hegan. He walked his first time up. Knocking in a run because the bases were loaded. Hegan, a right-handed pull hitter. Infield will shift left for the Boston Braves. 
wide. Schoen picks up the side. The wind up and the pitch to Hegan. 2 2 count. Hegan swings and misses. So Schoen is one out away from getting out of this disaster that Johnny Sane started. It's been, it was insane for Johnny Sane. Here comes Bob Feller. He's got to get the pitcher. Feller's 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Schoen deals quickly to his counterpart. Bob Feller, 1 2 count. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. So <laughs> Cleveland threatens but does not score. This is unbelievable. But Schoen readies the ship, or steadies the ship, however you want to say it. Bottom of the third, and by a miracle of God and Schoen, it's only 3-2 to two Cleveland. Due up for the Boston Braves to face Bob Feller, Elliott, Ricker, and Salkel. Bob Elliott, guess what he did? Walked with the bases loaded. Feller has settled down. He struck out four, walked six. Feller deals to Elliott. Full count. And good God almighty. Bob Feller has walked another. Tying run at first. He's all over the place. Here's Marv Rickert. On deck is Salka, the catcher. Rickert also walked with the bases loaded. I'm going to have him take. Here's the pitch from Feller. Ball. Oh, strike. I'm so used to saying ball. So one strike. Full one count. Robinson holding Elliott on at first. Elliott not a fast runner. And we're going to try to sacrifice him over with a bunt. And there's the bunt and he pops it up. Oh my god. Marv Rickard pops to the first baseman who is charging in. And that's a wonderful play by Eddie Robinson. So Elliott's at first one out for Bill Salkel. The catcher's 0 for 1. Feller peeks to first, now picks up the sign from Hegan. Here's the pitch to Salkeld. 2-2 two -two count, Salkeld goes down looking. Hit the corner there with the fastball. Elliott, the leadoff walk, is still at first. Two outs will be off on contact, and here comes the number seven batter, the center fielder, Mike McCormick. He's 0 for 1 today. Good contact hitter, 9 out of 10. 6 out of 10 high. Elliott takes a slight lead. Feller takes a peek. Now picks up the side from Hegan. The wind-up and the pitch to McCormick. 1-1. One, one. Oh, they throw over, and he picks him off. Holy cow, Feller picks off Elliott. Side retired, and this has been a crazy three innings of baseball here in this 1948 Retro World Series Game 1. Due up for the Indians, top of the order, Mitchell, Doby, and Boudreaux. And we have our... Lions, we kept up too long, and he is tired, so let's sit him down. So here's Clyde Schoen back on the mound. Schoen has been a breath of fresh air. He hasn't walked anyone. He came in to relief. Uh, Johnny Sane, who was god-awful. I think Sane walked ten batters. For ha-has, let's take a look. Johnny Sane, two innings, no hits, three runs, all them earned, walked 10, struck out three, through 74 pitches. ERA 13.5. Back to the game action. Schoen deals to Mitchell. Mitchell's a right handed, a left handed pull hitter. We're going to go hard shift right in the infield. And outfield straight away in normal. Here's the pitch from Schoen to Mitchell. Mitchell swings, grounds it back to Schoen, who fires the first one away. So Schoen has really steadied the ship. One out, no one on. Here comes a left-handed normal hitter, Larry Dolby. He's 0 for 1. Braves fans loving it. Anything that's not a walk, I think they're going to applaud. Dolby awaits the Schoen offering. Here's the pitch. 2-2 two, two count. And he strikes him out looking. Froze him with the breaking pitch after setting him up with the fastball. So two outs, no one on. Clyde Schoen rubs up the baseball, steps back up on the hill. And he'll face player manager MVP of 1948, Lou Boudreau. And you'll say, why was he the MVP? 355, 18 homers and 106 runs knocked in for the player manager who plays shortstop. Right-handed normal hitter. 
Shown kicks and deals to Boudreaux. 3 1 count, and there's a walk. And here's Joe Gordon. Gordon is 0 for 1. Boudreaux, very slow at first. Torg uh, Torgerson holding him on. Schoen takes a peek at first. Picks up the sign from Salkeld. Here's the pitch to Joe Gordon. Right handed pull hitter. Brave shift left in the infield. Outfield will also shift left. And here's the pitch. 3 1 count. And he comes way inside, and that's another walk. Wow. <laughs> and I think we've seen it. I think we've gotten all the magic out of Clyde Schoen. This is going to be ugly, folks. Let's go to our bullpen once again. And Lions will get up. And he's ready. And he's coming in the game. So Lions will face the right-handed batter, Ken Keltner. And Al Lions, one win, no losses. He only pitched 12 and two-thirds innings, but he made the World Series roster. And probably not my best choice here. Walked eight, struck out five with a 7.82 earned run average. There's two outs. All we wanted to do is get Ken Keltner out. Keltner walked his first time up. Shocking. Tremendous contact, power, and eye. Right-handed pull hitter. He had 31 homers in 48. The infield will shift left for the Braves. The outfield will shift left. Lions deals to Keltner. 3-1 count. And he comes way inside. And he walks him for ball four. I believe that's 13 walks in four innings. In less than four innings. Yep, 13 walks. Wow. That's all I can say. I sound like Joey Lawrence, except he went, whoa, I'm saying wow. Here's Wally Junich, and Junich walked in a run. So he has a ribby, two outs, and he's a lefty. Base is juice, no place to put Wally. Salkeld and Lions can't get on the same page now. Lions nods his head. He kicks and fires to Junich. And we're going to play hard shift right. As Boudreaux will not be stealing home. Pitch homeward bound. 3-1 count. Way inside. Ball four. And it's 4-2. I've never seen anything like this. I have to send these people an email. Interesting concept, though, ID. What about this? Because the game I played was already an existing game. And this, I just set up after the uh, upgrade. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's get someone up who hopefully can throw strikes. You can see they have good control. That's what's mind-boggling. But they did walk. I mean, when you looked at their stats, they did walk a lot of guys. So I guess. I don't know. Let's get up Ernie White and Vern Bickford. Uh, let's get him up. He's a lefty. And Bickford's a righty. Here comes Eddie Robinson. He's 0 for 1. He also walked with the bases loaded. And we're going to pitch the contact. I I don't want to. Here's a pitch to Eddie Robinson. Left-handed spray hitter pitching to contact. And Robinson grounds that ball up the middle of short. And mercifully, we stepped on the bag. Cleveland picks up another run. 
yet no one has a hit. It's four to two. So thank God for the shortstop, Alvin Dark, or as they call him, Al Dark. We go to the bottom of the fourth, four to two, in the craziest no hitter you'll ever see in your life, folks. Dog Sidious in the chat says most walks in a single game by both teams is 30 in like 1915. As ID Gesture says, yeah, if you have a saved and set up something before the update, maybe it didn't. Yeah, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of. Also, Feller's back out on the mound. Let's look at Feller's stats here. So, Feller struck out, Bob Feller, excuse me, he struck out 164, but he did walk 116. Again, it's not out of the realm of possibility, but. This game, in reality, was one nothing. Johnny St. Aldul, Bob Feller, they both went the distance. Obviously, this is a sim game, and the sim engine has decided off all the walks by pitchers that there's going to be a lot of walks in this game. <clears throat> and it's been to the advantage of Cleveland for four runs, only the Braves for two. Four to two. Bottom of the fourth, McCormick, Stanky, and Lyons, the pitcher. <clears throat> Mike McCormick is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch from Feller to McCormick. 3-1 count. <laughs> Another walk. Holy cow. <clears throat> Tying run comes to the plate. And Eddie Stanky. And Stanky has an excellent eye, so I'm going to let him swing away. McCormick not very fast at first. Robinson holding him on. Keegan sets the target. Feller deals to Stanky. Full count. Ball 4. And he's now walked nine batters, which is mind-numbing to me. Here comes Al Lyons, the pitcher. And I, I... He's gonna bunt. Here's the pitch, he's gonna bunt. And he misses twice on the bunt. No balls, two strikes. He'll swing away, and he strikes out. I probably should have just had him take. So one out, two on for Tommy Holmes in the top of the order. Holmes is 0 for 1. I'm pretty sure he walked once. Not the best eye. He's going to take. Here's the pitch from Feller. Ball 1. Actually, ball gazillion. He'll take again. Ball 2. Yeah, this is... I think this is broke. He'll take again. Strike 1. 2-1 two, one count. He'll get the green light here. It's a hitter's count. Hegan sets the target. Feller deals to Tommy Holmes. One out, two on. Three, one count. Ball four. Hmm. Here comes Alvin Dark. Base is loaded. One out. No place to put Dark. He's going to take. Ball 52,000. He's going to take again. 53,000. Take for a third time. 2-1 count. Dark will swing away. And he, Feller has walked in another run. That's 11 walks. 4-3. to three. As you can even see the explanation mark up there. So one out tying run for the Braves at third. Go ahead run at second. Insurance run at first. Stanky's at third. Holmes is at second. Dark's at first. Here's the pitch to Torgensen. He's taken all the way. And there's a strike. Holy cow. Holy cow. Yeah, it's pretty funny, dog. I was hoping for a really fun game here quick, and it's 134. And we have walked a gazillion batters, the sim engine. So 0-1 count, Dorgerson gets, Torgensen gets the uh, sign to grip and rip. Here's the pitch from Feller. 0-2, swing and a miss. Torgensen goes down via the K. So two out, still 4-3 to three, Cleveland. Braves can't squander this opportunity. Here is Bob Elliott, the third baseman. He walked in a run. Right-handed batter. Hegan wiggles the fingers. Feller arms down to his chest to wind up the pitch to Bob Elliott. Full count. Ball four. We have a tie ball game. 
and it's 4-4 four to four in what has been the most sloppy pitching no-hitter by both teams you'll ever see. Four hundreds across the board. Here comes Merv Reddick. You know what he's doing. He's taking. And the idiot almost swings, and the slider's in there for a strike anyway. 1-1 one, one count. Riddick grounds one hard to the first baseman who runs over and steps on the bag. Nice play by Robinson. It's amazing he was awake as there's been 4 million walks and it's a tie ball game now. This has been ugly. I almost want to sim the whole thing, but I got to see how it turns out. So we go to the top of the fifth. It's a no-hitter, folks. A no-hitter for both teams. As I'm so distracted from the horrible pitching... I forgot to sit my bullpen. They're tired. So Al Lyons will be on the hill. He will face Hegan Feller in the top of the order. Mitchell. Jim Hegan's 0 for 1. He walked in a run. Right-handed pull hitter. Infield outfield will shift left. This has been the worst pitching I have ever seen in this game. Lyons deals to Hegan. 2-2 two, two count. And he sends one out. Shallow left towards the line coming. Oh, it drops in as playing it way too safely, in my opinion, was Rickert. So that's the first hit of the ball game for the Cleveland Indians, and it's a blooper to left field. Go ahead, run at first, and here's Bob Feller. Lions quickly deals to Feller. And Feller tried to bunt, but he misses. It's a 1-2 count now. Will he bunt with two strikes? Lions throws over to first. They almost picked him off. Again, Lions looked to first. Now he deals to his counterpart, Bob Feller. Strike three, you're out. And that ball was way inside. And my God, did we get a lucky call there. Strike three. And there's a lot of chirping from the Indians' dugout. So one out, one on top of the order for Dale Mitchell. He is 0 for 2. Left-handed pull hitter. Braves will shift hard right in the infield. And will shift right in the outfield. Double play. Keeps it a 4-4 ball game. Torgensen holding Hegan on at first. Not the speediest runner. Here's the pitch to Dale Mitchell. 0-1 count. Mitchell swings. He's jammed. It's a pop-up foul. And throwing off his mat. Oh, my Lord! The catcher, holy cow, Salkeld, drops the pop-up. This has been the worst World Series game when it comes to pitching and now to fielding, as that's the first error, but still. So Mitchell gets a second chance at a batter's life. The count's no balls, two strikes. The wind-up and the pitch from Lyons. Now it goes full, and guess what? He walked him. Shocking. So one out, two on. Here's Larry Dolby. Dolby's old for two. And let's get our lefty up. White, he should be ready. And he is. And he's coming in the ball game, folks. So Ernie White will come in to face the lefty Larry Dolby with one out, two on. Lefty-lefty matchup. And Ernie White... Yeah, they walked a lot of batters. Look at this. Eight strikeouts, 17 walks. 0-2. 1 1.96 earned. I mean, they're not kidding when they said their, their pitching staff stunk in 48. Wow. Overall, 3 out of 10 quality of pitches. Movement, excellent. 8 out of 10. Control, 5 out of 10. But against lefty, 6 out of 10. Here's the pitch to Dolby. 2-2 two, two count. At least he's going to swing the bat. And he strikes out. He went too far. Dolby's k three times. So a good move there to bring in the lefty. And here's Lou Boudreau, the MVP of 48. I don't know if I want my lefty to pitch to him. But my God, we can't use every pitcher to get one, two outs at a time. Uh, Vern Bickford... Bigford's ready. And we might go double switch here. We might go double. What's Bigford's stamina? He's an eight. We might have to go double switch because we, we're just... 
We've exhausted our bullpen already. 4-4 ball game, and it's been ugly. Rickert, if you get hit, him, let's, let's see who else we have who can play left. I think we're going to go double switch. And, of course, we have no one else who can play left. One of these guys must be able to play left. I would think our center fielder. Yes, he can play left. So my my assumption is he was hurt or something. I don't know why this guy was not in the lineup. Again, these are as-played lineups. Well, we're in our bullpen now for the Braves, but to start off, as-played pitchers and lineups. And we're going to go double switch. We're going to go with Clint Connie uh, Canaster on the double switch. So Canaster will go into the nine spot. And he'll play left field. And now Bickford will go into the five spot. Rickard is out. And he will pitch. So there's our double switch. Oh my lord, things are getting interesting here. This is going to be a mess. <laughs> These games usually go quick. And here's Boudreaux. Two outs, two on. He'll face Merv Bickford. It's Bickford's game now. I know Spawn pitches game two. And then there's a day off, so even if Bickford pitched game three, he should be all right, I guess. He was 11-5. And he walked more guys than he struck out. 63 walks, 60 Ks, 3.27 earned run average. Quality of pitches, 3 out of 10 overall. Movement, 7 out of 10. Control, 6 out of 10. He has, against righties, better movement, 8 out of 10. All right, here's Vern Bickford to pitch to Boudreaux. Boudreaux 0 for 1. Two outs, two on. Runners will be off on contact. The windup and the pitch from Bickford to Boudreaux. 3-1 count, and I swear to God, that's another walk. Base is juiced. And here's Joe Gordon. Gordon's 0 for 1. And we're going to have to pitch to contact. Here's the pitch to contact. Full count. Swing and a miss. Strike 3. Oh, my God, that was a miracle. Somehow we stayed tied at 4. As the Braves pitching staff, woof, holy cow. Bob Feller back out on the hill, and he's been awful, to be honest with you. Bob Feller... Four innings, four runs, all walked in. He has 12 walks, 7 Ks. Again, he struck out 164, but he did walk 116. So the numbers are not out. I mean, the numbers are, you know, not good. But if you think about it, um, they walked a lot of batters, these pitchers. And, but still mind-numbing to me, and the engine is just really... Wow, that's all I can say. They're really sliding towards the walks here. There's just an update for this game, but I played my 1973 season, which was fine, and the only thing I can think of along with ID Gesture and Dog City is, was that season was set up already. This was something I just set up tonight. It was a new game I set up. All right, anyhow, do up for the Braves, the catcher, Salkeld, who made an error, then McCormick and Stanky. If anyone gets on, Con Stanter, our new left fielder, he came in with the double switch. And we're going to have to take, here's the pitch from Feller to uh, Sol uh, Solkeld. Shockingly, it's a ball. And he's going to take until he gets a strike. Feller deals again. Ball two. Why he was swinging? Almost, I don't know. He'll take until he gets a strike. Ball 52 million thousand. 3-0 count. Puts the bat in his shoulder, shuts his eyes, and there's ball four. Go ahead, run at first. Yeah, there's something wrong with the game. There's no way. Obviously, there's no way. But here comes Mike McCormick. The play would be to sacrifice bunt here, but 
why do that when he's walked a gazillion batters? And there's a strike. So Feller actually finds the strike zone. The wind must have blew it in there. Yeah, that was a slider. 0-1 count. Stanky's on deck. Feller's all over the place. I, we're going to swing away. Full count and another walk. And that's walk 14. And we're going to sim this game in a moment just out of curiosity. And it's too bad that this stream is going this way. But there is an issue with this game right now after the last update. And here's Stanky. And Stanky, actually, you would think... For a second baseman, he'd be able to bunt the ball, but he's not a good bunter. So he's going to take a strike. We're going to take again. I think he's going to walk him. Strike two. Holy cow. The 0 2 count. Two on, no outs. 4 4 ball game in one of the ugliest sim ball games you could ever watch. Stanky chokes up on the bat. He awaits the Bob Feller offering. Here's the pitch. Full count and. Grounds it to short, six to four to three double play. Go ahead run. Gets the third and Bill Salt. So that went Boudreaux to Gordon to Robinson. Boudreaux started off a double play ball. He was the MVP of 48. Player manager for the Indians. 4-4 four, four ball game. The Braves have the go ahead run 90 feet away. Salk, who's a very slow base runner. And here it comes. Uh, getting his first at bat in the game. Clint. Uh, Canaster, he came in on the double switch. When Bickford came in to pitch, he went out to left and Rickard came out. Now Canaster batted 277, three homers, 23 ribbies. 5 out of 10 contact, 3 out of 10 power, 6 out of 10 eye. Here's the pitch to Canaster he's taking. And there's a ball. That was low. He'll take until he gets a strike. And there's a ball. And this will be a ball as a strike. He's going to take again. 3-1. He's going to take again. And he walked him. Wow. Tying run at third. Go ahead run at first. Top of the order for Tommy Holmes. Holmes is taking. Here's a strike. Bob Feller has walked 15. He has struck out 7. He's thrown 148 pitches. They're going to be going in their pen soon. He's going to take again. Ball 1. 1-1 one, one count. He'll take. Ball 2. 2-1 two, count. Tempted to give him the green light. I'm going to. Here's the pitch. 2-1 count. Holmes punches it to right. And that's the first Braves hit, and they go up 5-4. to four. Again, one of the ugliest games you could ever see. Uh, Constanter is an awful runner. Judic has a great arm. We will hold him. But it is a 5-4 to four lead on the Braves' first hit of the ball game. So 5-4, to four, two outs, Dart comes to the plate. Canaster, very slow at first. Holmes, just as slow. I, I'm sorry, Canaster, slow at second. Holmes, just as slow at first. Here's the pitch to Al Dark. He walked with the bases loaded. He has a ribby. Feller deals. And that's a strike. Dark looks down to the third base coach. He gives him the grip and rip sign. Keegan sets the target. Here's the pitch. Dark swings, and he shoots that ball right center field, and that's going to gap both outfielders. One run scores, and Dark has a double, and it's now 6-4 to four Braves. Bob Feller's thrown 153 pitches. He has been god-awful. 15 walks, 7 Ks. And he's now given up 6 earned runs, and here comes Earl Torgensen. Torgensen, the first baseman for the Braves, 0 for 2. He'll take until he gets a strike. Off speed pitching. No, ball one. As he can try to frame it. Here comes the feller offering. Ball two. Jorgensen to take again. Ball three. He'll take two strikes here. And there's ball four. Base is juiced. And that's it for Bob Feller. He stunk. 
Indians fans have to be going nuts listening on the radio. And the new pitcher for Cleveland. And again, look at this. 50 strikeouts, 51 walks. That's, th wow. These are two of the worst. Wow. So what's happening, in my opinion, just off the mathematics, the sim engine is saying, well, these guys, and look, but what makes no sense is they have 7 out of 10 for control and movement, 3 out of 10 quality of pitches. So what's happening is the quality of pitches have been very poor. They're not hitting their spots. Or they're trying to be too fine because their quality of pitches. They have to hit their spots and they're being too fine. I don't know. So Steve Gromit comes in. And Gromit, 9-3. and three. And Did he have any saves? With four saves, struck out. It's a little different here. Well, that's 47. Let's go over here. As I said, struck out 50, walked 51, 2.84 earned run average, two outs, two, uh, two outs bases juice. The Braves have taken a two-run lead, six to four, as they finally had a couple of hits. And Elliott's going to take. Here's the pitch from Gromek. And there's a ball. And he'll take again. And there's a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Elliott looks down to the third base coach. He gives him the grip and rip sign. Hegan sets the target. Here's the pitch from Gromick. Homeward bound. 3-1. Ball 4. Shocking. And it's 7-4. And here is the pitcher, Vern Bickford. He'll take until he gets two strikes. Strike 1. Puts the bat on his shoulder. 1-1 one, one count. Again, he will not swing until he gets two strikes. Right. Gromick's ready to work. He deals. The pitch to Bickford. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Bickford chokes up on the bat. Dark at third. Torgensen at second. Elliott at first. Egan sets the target. Gromick kicks and fires. And grounder back to Gromick who throws the first. Side retired, but the Braves, in one of the ugliest baseball games you'll ever see in your life, pick up three runs. They now lead 7-4. to four. And Vern Bickford's back out on the hill. He'll face Keltner, Junich, and Robinson. Keltner, uh, I believe, has walked every time up because he has no official at bat. Combined, let's take a look because it's mind-boggling to me. So the Indians, Feller and Gromick, Feller walked 16, Gromick has walked one, so that's 17 base on balls for the Indians. <laughs> the Braves, will be, we've used one, two, three, four. We're on our fifth pitcher. 10, 12, 15, 16. So that is 40. Is that 43 walks, 16, and 17, that's 13, add the 1, 33 walks, holy cow, and Dog City has said, most walks in a single game by both teams is 30 in like 1915, well that's god awful, isn't it? I did have a weird game once before we had a lot of walks, but it was mostly the Red Sox horrible pitching that did it. It was my uh, 1960 team, my retro replace. Okay, here comes Kent Keltner, right-handed pull hitter. I don't even know if I should... I, I guess we will shift left because he for the infield and outfield. Here's the pitch from Bickford. 3-1 count. Good God. Another walk. Here's Wally Judich. Hard shift right. In the infield. Outfield straight away in normal. We're going to pitch to contact. The wind up and the pitch to Judich. And he rips his shot. To his left center field. And that gets down for a hit. This, this is going to be a slugfest. We're going to have to pitch to contact. So Keltner very slow at second. 
Wally uh, Judnich. Three out of ten at first for speed. And here comes Eddie Robinson. He represents a tying run at the plate. Oh, for two. He did walk with the bases loaded, though. Left-handed spray hitter. Braves move to double play depth. And again, we'll pitch to contact. 2-1. Ground ball to short. 6-4. to four. Oh, my lord. Dark throws the ball away. That should have been a double play ball. And it's a second error by the Braves. Bases loaded. No outs for Jim Hegan, the catcher. Hegan is 1-2 for two with a ribby. The Braves up by three, but that lead could quickly be erased. Right-handed pull hitter. Braves will shift left in their infield. And the outfield will shift left. And we're going to pitch to, I mean, we're going to have to pitch to contact once again into the breach. We will go. The windup and the pitch from Bickford to Hegan. 1-1 one, one count, Hegan swings, sends that ball, left field coming in, coming in, coming in, making the catch. He's the left fielder for the Braves. Canaster, he just came in the ball game on a double switch, and the Braves fans are ecstatic. So base is loaded, one out now, and here's the pitcher, Steve Gromick. Will they squeeze with Gromick? We're going to play corners in. In case they try to get fancy schmancy with the squeeze play. Could he walk the pitch? You know, we're going to pitch the contact. I can't take a chance. I'm not going to be like Abba. Take a chance on me. I don't think so. Bill Salk sets the target. The windup and the pitch from Bigford to his counterpart, Gromick. Full count. And he walked him and we were pitching a contact. Holy cow. He walks the pitcher. How the hell do you walk the pitcher? Seven to five. One out. Top of the order. Base is still juiced for Dale Mitchell. Mitchell is 0 for 2. Left-handed pool hitter. Infield will shift right. Guard third. Outfield will shift right. The windup and the pitch from Bickford. Pitch to contact. Full count. And he walked them. And I've had pretty much enough of this. 7-6. to six. Here's the pitch to Larry. This has gone off here. OBS is broke. All right. Let's just go here and just... Wow. That's all I can say. So it's the top of the ninth. We'll play this out, I guess. It's... This will not be back on the channel. That's for sure. I'm going to play the next game for Ha Ha's um, at some point to see... Uh, it's mind-boggling. Let's go to the box scores for HaHa's. Ha Alrighty. Uh, walks. Well, we can do it up here. So far, the Boston Braves have walked 25 times and the Indians 23 times. Definitely something is broke in the last update. Now, I played a game. I played a game for my 1973 season, and it was fine, but that game was set up before this last update, which I find kind of odd, because they had the update the day before, and now they had another update, so definitely they broke, uh, they did something, and we're going to actually just, before I go off air, we're going to do a quick, I'm going to take two great pitchers and put them against each other and see what happens, and let's go back, and I don't even want to play the last inning. Let's go sim the game. Are you sure you want to finish? Yes. So, 9-8, to eight, Cleveland wins over the Braves. In reality, the Braves would win this game in Boston 1-0. To Instead, Cleveland wins 9-8 to eight in what is a very bizarre... So, in total, in total, 50 walks, 24... Uh, Braves walked the Indians 24 times. The Indians walked the Braves 26 times. That's 50 walks. That's broke. That is broke. That is god-awful. So the last update was really bad. 
for ha-has. Look at this. Special notes. Awful. My God, you never see this many special notes. Do they even have a player of the game? It was so bad, there probably is no player of the game. Who got the win? Bickford got the lost. Satchel Page got the win. That would have been neat to see him pitch, but I mean, who, who could... Gromit got the win. Uh. Player of the game. There's not even... Player of the game, I'm sorry. Wally Junik. What did Wally do? One for two, a run scored, two ribbies. He walked four times. That is awful. Okay, let's leave this game. We're going to just... Yeah, that was... Yeah, whatever. We, we got an award for a broken engine. That is very shameful by Out of the Ballpark 19. But now what we're going to do... I'm just going to save this um, for a moment. We have to just check out something here. We're going to go with... Bob Gibson, right? Bob Gibson. 1968 Bob Gibson. We're going to go 1968 Bob Gibson. And uh, somebody. We'll pick somebody out. Another good picture. All right. So let's go file. And let's go to the start screen. And we're going to start up a historical exhibition. So we're going to start up another historical exhibition. Yep, 41 left on base is Dog City. says, oh my god. Something might have messed up on that update. Again, my 73 season, I played a game when I was... Well, Dog, you're in the chat. Uh, in, jo uh, in Dog... In uh, JD's. Because I was in JD's. I was in Johnny... The Kings, uh, Johnny Indy Boots chat, and then I was in ID Gestures chat. I was going back and forth to all three. I had them all up listening, and I'd go back and forth. Um, so I want to pick. Well, we're going to pick Bob Gibson, 1968. He had a 1.12 earned run average. So let's do that, and let's just check this out real quick. So 68, and we're going to pick Bob Gibson. I did have a weird game one time way back when, but my that was my for my 60 Red Sox Open World Alternate Universe team, and they stunk. Their pitching was horrid. And we're going to pick, as I stated, Bob Gibson once I find St. Louis. There he is at the bottom. So Bob Gibson. And here's um, 1968. Denny McLean was 1.96. He struck out 280, which we'd be doing that with our Stratomatic Bob Gibson Denny McLean challenge. So we're going to use Bob Gibson and Denny McLean, actually. ERA 1.12. Okay. So let's do. Um, Do Detroit, 1968. We're going to do the year of the pitcher, and let's see if there's a gazillion walks in the year of the pitcher. pitcher. And again, this is not going to be... Um, we're just doing... Actually, I just want one game. Oh, no. Uh, Detroit. We're just going to go one game. No DH. <sighs> 68 settings. End of season uh, rosters. 25 players. I never play with injuries when I'm doing this because who wants to see injuries? Disable the injuries. And we're going to go create exhibition. So we're going to do a little test here, folks. We're going to... Send it to the developer. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. Definitely horrible. But, I mean, again, both pitching staffs, you looked at it. They walked a ton of guys. It's just it shouldn't be that many. All right, so now what we have to do, because I hate this setup, I want to get in the – I want to do – you can actually play the game out of this setup. 
Um, you go to play ball. And you can click play and you play the game, but you can't change anything, so I don't like that. I'm going to return to the main menu. We're, we're testing our, we're going to load game, and when you come in here, you can see I have a plethora of games, because I love playing this game. Uh, we have to, It's going to be the 1968 exhibition here. And we're going to change the name, actually. And we're just going to say um, Gibby versus Denny. 1968. That's what we're going to call it. And we'll hit OK. And it's going to load up. And now we're going to see how this plays. I kind of want to start the stream over in case, but I'm not going to play the whole game out anyway. It's 2 in the morning. Yes, we don't want to play as an exhibition. And whatever the lineups are, they are. I'm not going to go nuts with it. It's going to be Danny McLean, obviously. Again, so what we're going to do... I hate when things update. Okay, so we have Danny McLean. Obviously, the two best pitchers are going to pitch. However the starting lineups are, that's what we're going to go with. So Bob Gibson struck out 268, only walked 62. He struck out over 200 more batters. Uh, Danny McLean struck out 280. And only walked 63. He too struck out over 200 batters more than he walked. I, and we're going to go with game settings. I hate two to uh, 20 to 80. I like 1 through 10. If anyone remembers the Bo Derek movie, 10, right? 10 means she was hot. No one said she was an 80 or a 100. Or if she was ugly, a 20. Come on. What the hell is that crap? 1 through 10. <laughs> I like that rating system. That's just me. Okay. And we're going to play. And we're going to manage. And I'm going to manage as the Cardinals. Because I like Bob Gibson. All right. We shall see. Now we set this up. And we took the two best pitchers. I think we'll be... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they have... We're going to go Classic. Uh, we'll go uh, modern 3D view. And Brock, Javier, Flood, Shannon, Roger, uh, Maris, H and McCarver, my, it's Gibson. It's not that bad of a lineup. All right, so it's going to be Brock, Javier, Flood. Normally, it would be Brock, Flood, Maris, Cepeda, McCarver, but that's fine. Uh, Brock, Javier, Flood, Shannon, Maris, Cepeda, McCarver, uh, Maxville, then Gibby, Bob Gibson, the pitcher. For Detroit, McCullough, Northrop, Horton, Cash, Freeman, Stanley, Wirt, and Tommy Maychick at short, um, and Denny McLean. So I'm going to... play as St. Louis. We're playing in Detroit. I'm hoping Tiger Stadium loaded. We should have checked that. Usually the cool thing now, um, the newest version of the game, the stadiums, the old stadiums, once you load them from the workshop, they load up automatically. So we're going to roll the dice and hope that they load it up without me checking. And we're just going to start the game. As it's not responding. Interesting. So old Tiger Stadium did load up. That is really cool. And we're going to go with view. Oh, I don't like the overhead view. Wide camera. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So Denny McLean's on the mound. We're just going to go swing away. Here's the pitch. Brock grounds to short. So that's one out. All right. Julian Javier's up. Here's the pitch for McLean. He strikes out on the full count. All right. 
And Kurt Flood's up two outs, no one on. Flood, very good contact hitter. Here's the pitch from McLean to Flood. 0-2 count. And he grounds to short. Long throw. Did they get him? Yes, they did. All right, that was a clean inning. That was a clean inning. I think because there's so many walks by those two teams, that was god-awful, though. All right. Here's Bob Gibson to Dick McCullough. 1-0 count. McCullough flies to Maris in right. That's one away. Here's Jim Northrup. The wind-up and the pitch from Gibson. And that's a ground ball to second base and Julian Javier. That's two down. And here's Willie Horton. Horton has pop in his bat. 36 homers. Gibby, grim determination on his face. McCarver sets the target. Here's the pitch to Willie Horton. One, two count. Strike three. The bench is over there. So that looks pretty good. Or is we're going to go speed baseball. McLean deals to Shannon. And Shannon grounds to third. And that's out number one. So Shannon grounds to Don Work. And here's Roger Maris to face Denny McLean. The windup and the pitch. 1-0 count. Maris swings and he grounds hard to second. Nice play by McCullough. Good range there. And that's two outs. Here's Orlando Cepeda, the baby bull. He awaits the McLean offering. 2-0 count. The bull swings ground ball up the middle in the center. So a two-out single for Cepeda. And here comes Tim McCarver. Left-handed batting catcher. Freehand sets the target. McLean kicks and fires. Full count to McCarver. McCarver grounds to second. And the inning is over. Again, great range showed by Dick McCullough. So to me, the game seems okay it's the pit wow so that seems okay and we'll just play out one more inning and we'll save this game as we're gonna actually play this out at some I love don't you love Tiger Stadium looks really cool here comes Norm Cash here's the pitch from Gibson 0-2 count that's a swing and a miss one away Gibby deals to freehand 0-1 count freehand grounds to short and Maxville two away here comes Mickey Stanley. And Stanley, the center fielder. Carver sets the target. Gibson rocks and fires. 0-2 count. And Stanley gets one past the third baseman on the 0-2 count. Nice piece of hitting. So that goes past Shannon at third. As OBS is reconnected. Hello, Moni G. All righty. Anyway, we just were testing out something. So this game seemed to work fine as opposed to our 50 walks in the other ball game. And what we'll do here is we're going to save and exit. Once I figure out where save and exit is on the modern view. So when I don't know where something is, I just go to the 3D classic view. And we'll save and leave. Okay, and now we'll save again. Now we're going to go back for ha-has because, and we want to see how that other game plays out now for ha-has. And then I'm going to burn this video. <laughs> um, back to the out of the ballpark screen. Go to load a game. We'll go back to our 48 World Series. Why I'm a glutton for punishment, I don't know, but I'm curious now. And we're going to hit OK. And this is game two. We're not going to go with as-played lineups or any of that nonsense. We're just I just want to see something. As we had 50 walks combined by both teams. So if you're just joining us for this bizarro stream, what happened, and I'll show you what happened, playoff coverage. What happened was both teams walk a ton of batters, but the sim engine just took it to an extreme. And I'm going to go as a 9-8 victory. Let's go to the box score, and I'll just show you really quick. I'm not going to. So Boston Braves pitching walked Indians batters 24 times. The Indians walked 26 Braves. That's 50 base on balls. That's 
an impossibility. I mean, you couldn't do that in a little league. Well, maybe a horrible little league game. Okay. So now we went to, we tested it out with another game with, obviously I took two of the best pitchers single season wise, Denny McLean and Bob Gibson, and we just played a couple innings. It seemed normal. So we're going to just, for haha's sake, um, play game two out, play an inning or so. Um, so let's finish here. So we have Bob Lemon and Warren Spahn. That's the actual matchup. And Bob Lemon. Again, he Jesus. He struck out 147, walked 129. They walked a lot of guys. Warren Spahn, 114, walked 77. Okay. So we're going to manage. We're going to play like a couple innings. And let's just see. And we'll be at um, Braves Field for this World Series game. These are not as played lineups. I did not set them up. I'm going to manage the Boston Braves. So we're going to set the Indians to computer AI. Moni did a really cool, a great job, great job um, in that chat, the, the stream yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Dog City says, Moni asked me if I ever played Mass Effect Al. True story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. Start the game. Yeah, ever since the update. Okay, this is the classic view. Uh, let's go modern view. I do like Braves Field. It's very neat looking. All right, we're just going to click pitch and hit and all that stuff. So here's the pitch of Dale Mitchell. And again, 3-0 count. Ball. This this one's busted. Pitch to Larry Dolby. 2-2 two, two count. Strike three. Okay. And now here's Lou Boudreau. Here's the pitch response. 3-1. That's a walk. Wow. Gordon. 3-1. That's a walk. All right, one more. Kettner. Double play. So they got out of it. That's interesting. All right, now we're just going to swing away. Holmes. Ball one from Lemon. I mean, uh, ball four. Dark, full count, ball four. And again, Lemon. Lemon. Where is it? 147 strikeouts, 129 walks. I still don't think this is obviously correct. Something's wrong with this season. Strikes him out. So one out, two on. And here's Bob Elliott. 3-0 count. He's going to walk. Base is juiced. And here's Marv Rickert. 2-0 count. And he sends a fly ball sky high to Larry Dolby. And that's out. Number two base is still loaded. Here comes Bill Salkelt. 2-2 two, two count. Swing and a miss. Okay. Here's the pitch to Clark. 3-0. That's going to be ball four. Spawn walks him. Here's Hegan. 1-2 count. Strike three. Pitch to Robinson. 3-0. Ball four. One out, two on. No score. Here's the pitch to Lemon. He's going to bunt. That's a good bunt. And they just get him. So two out, second and third, top of the order, Dale Mitchell. The wind-up in the pitch from Spahn to Mitchell, 0-2. And up the middle with Mitchell. Clutch hit, 1-0. So far, this game's playing. Oh, a throwing error. Oh, my Lord. All right, so that seems sort of normal. It's just bad pitching. Here's the pitch to Dolby, 3-1. He walks. So that's six base on balls by Warren Spahn. Full count. Seven base on balls by Warren Spahn. Gordon. And he sends a fly ball. Rickert in left coming in. Makes the catch. All right. Lemon. Full count. Ball four. 
Pitch to Stanky. 2-2 two -two count. Strikeout. Spawn. He walked the pitcher. Holmes. Walks. Dark. Walks. Torgensen strikes out. Strike three. Elliot walks. Rickert walks. Strike no, he strikes out. All right. Now we're just going to sim. It's a 2 2 game. Let's just sim it out. And again, I don't know where to do it here. So I just go to the classic. 3D view because it's on the bottom here and we're going to go to the ninth you have an incomplete lineup really okay so who has to come in um, we need a pitcher Did um, we need a pitcher? Well, wouldn't they? I just want to ten to five Cleveland, so that's good news for. Uh, um, and actually, Warren Spawn did get hammered in that game. I don't know if it was ten to five. I think he lost like four to one, five to one. All right, let's just bring someone in. Let's bring this numb nut in. We're not going to finish this out anyway. Back to game action. And let's just finish the game. Yes. 10 to 5. Let's see how many walks. Holy crap. 29 and 24. That's worse than before. Yeah, definitely something wrong there. As Dog Sidish will take the win any way he can. He says, go try. As Dog says, I have the Bad News Bears music playing in my head. I know. Bum, bum. Da -da, da -da, da -da. All right. Well, let's leave that game. And what we're going to do now for really haha's sake. We can sim every one of these games and that's what we're going to do. And just look at the box scores quick. Oh, I gotta finish the uh, finish today. Finish today. Quick play. Another. The Indians are up 3-0 now. Nine to eight, they win. And that's for Haha's. Everyone, let's take a guess on how many walks. Let's take the guess on how many walks. I'm going to say 60. 22. Oh, wow. It was a little better. It was only 50 walks even. 18 and 22. All right. And. Let's go back. And I think Cleveland's going to sweep. And let's play quick play. Will the Indians re-win the World Series? And they sweep the Braves 4-0. 18-12. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, wow. How many walks? Last game was 50. 37. This, this was 58 walks. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to shoot a, um, yeah. That is awful. So congrats. Congrats. Uh, to the Indians in one of the worst pitched World Series ever. They sweep the Boston Braves 4-0 to as something went really wrong. With this update.
Yeah, let's go playoff coverage. So Cleveland wins 9-8, 10-5, to 9-8, 18-12. to Satchel Page was the winner in Game 4. And he also had a save in Game 1. So that did not turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out. I thought it was going to be a nice, fun stream. Anyway, something broke there. We did see that Detroit uh, 68, Denny McLean and the Tigers, and the 68 um, Cardinals was okay. So I just think they took the – the pitchers are really bad, though. I mean, let's, let's just take a look. Once again, um, where is it? Johnny Sane. Those are horrible, though. 137 and 83. What did he do? Did he pitch again? Did he not pitch? Spawn. Anyhow, something's weird there. Something's really weird. Just save that misery. And now... Let's see something. Let's do one more scientific numbers experiment. No, I don't want to load the game. Cancel. I want another historical exhibition. We know 1968 worked fine. Select World Series. 1948. Um. Create. Okay. I know the ERAs were hilarious, weren't they, dog? We're going to redo the whole thing now. And we're not going to play it. I'm just going to quick play them. I want to see if it duplicates the same numbers. So... We're playing this. It will let us play it over because I changed the name. Actually, you can play it over a gazillion times. It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to go to load game. And that's going to be a new exhibition. And where is it? Right here. And we're going to say take two. <laughs> 1948 World Series take two. 1948. World Series, take two. And we're going to hit OK. Yes. Game settings, you know, I don't, I like one through ten. And again, if you're just joining us, we're testing out. There was an update, and the 48 World Series, as Dog Cities will tell you in the chat, the pitching was god awful. Um, too many walks, way too many. But then we tested out 1968 Gibson versus Danny McLean. A couple innings of that, that looked fine. So um, we're going to replay this whole thing. And again, quick simming. And we will find out. And Sane versus Lemon, which is correct. Sane versus Lemon. That's actually the right matchup. We have the wrong. I mean, it should be in Boston, but that's fine. We're just going to. And we're going to quick play. Wow, 10 to 9. Just bad pitching. 24 and 22. Holy crap. It's just bad pitching. Bad pitching. Uh. 
All right, so Schoen's hurt. That's nice. I don't care. I can't change him anyway. Quick play. The Braves win 15 to 9. It's just bad pitching. All right. Uh, finish today. Save game. Do the 1986 World Series. No, don't want to do that. Cancel. And then we'll call it a stream. I'm just curious now. I want to see. Might as well torture myself with the 86 World Series, right? Why not? And that should populate the Mets and the Red Sox. And that is correct because the Game 6 was in New York, so that's right. The way it's set up. Uh, DH. Did they play with a DH? It doesn't matter. We're just going to say we're going to put the DH on. For both. I don't think they played it with the DH, but we're going to say on for both. And we're going to have 86 settings. No injuries. Create. <sighs> As Dog City has said, uh, 70 dudes left on base. The old bar ballpark, too, I think. Yeah, that was... um. Uh, Moni G says, My dad worked at the old stadium. We have actual chairs from Tiger Stadium. That is cool, Moni G. Okay, that's fine. And now let's go back. Just bad pitching. Load previous game, so this should be 86 exhibition. That's right here. Let's just quickly rename it. Uh, Red Sox 1986. Red Sox versus Mets. World Series. Not that it matters, but just when I compare and contrast for myself. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let's play the game. We have Gooden versus Clemens. And yeah, let's quick play it. 7-2 Mets. So Clemens got shelled. Let's go box score. 3 walks. 2 walks. It's just the bad pitching. The Braves and the... Uh, and when we looked at their stats, those two teams did walk a lot of guys. But man, the, the Sim Engine takes it to an extreme. That's pretty funny. That sucks because I really wanted to play that World Series. I have no patience. That's so bad. Let's finish today. And go back to the game. We're going to sim all these real quick so it's Suter and Sid Fernandez. Quick play. Mets lead the Series 1-0. And they lead the Series 2-0 now as they win 3-2. So they take both games in Boston. Ouch. Again, only four walks, four walks. So again, that's that's reasonable. Let's look at the numbers here. McDowell got the save. Fernandez went eight innings, five strikeouts, four walks. Hurst, two walks, five Ks. Lawler and Calvin Schiraldi. All right, and 
let's just do finish today. Play game. Finish today. Red Sox down 2-0. And we have um, Ojeda versus Oil Can Boyd. And the Mets go up 3-0 as they win 3-1. Evans, 2 for 4, uh, 2 home run. 9-7, uh, to seven, I'm sorry. It was 9-7. to seven, So that was, I looked at the... Wow! That's a ball game. Went 11 innings. 9-7, to seven, the Mets win. So they're looking for the sweep. And this was a slugfest, so that might be a little different here. But even there, look. Three walks, four walks. And we'll just take a look at the pitching differences. So Boyd struck out 129, only walked 45. Ojeda struck out 148, only walked 52. And now the Mets will sweep my beloved Red Sox, most likely. It's just that season. Very interesting. And here's game four. Will the Mets sweep? No, the Red Sox and Al Nipper defeat. Nipper went eight innings, too. Three to two wins, so that's a pitcher's duel. And we'll take a quick look again at the walks. Normal stuff here. Three, three. Nipper, eight. Stanley. Oh, wow, that went extra innings, so the Red Sox stay alive. That's a fun game there, 3-2. to two. I'd be happy. You know, I'd be like, hey, yay, we didn't get swept. Finish today. And if you're just joining us, we had an issue with the 48 World Series. I just think the Sim Engine has taken the god-awful pitching too far with the 48 Series. Um, let's play. Again, the Red Sox trying to stave off elimination. A rematch from Game 1, Clemens and uh, Gooden. And Gooden beats Clemens again. 6-1. to one. So Clemens is not good in this series. He loses two games. The Mets win four games to one. Four walks, two walks. So there you have it. It definitely, it definitely is the 48th season. And the god-awful pitching. And I'm not going to bore you guys with any more of this. But I'm actually going to do something else tomorrow with uh, different teams from 48. I'm going to find some good pitching teams. Alright, so let's finish today. And save. And let's go to playoff coverage. And as you can see, the Mets won four games to one. Let's go file. Uh, back to the start screen. Alrighty, well, I'd like to say thank you to Moni G and Dog Sidious and ID Gesture and anyone else who watched. We had some issues, and I thought it was the game. I do still think uh, the Sim Engine, for some reason, took the 48, the bad pitching by both teams. And in reality, this is what's funny. Um, the Indians won that series four games to two over the Boston Braves. The last World Series, the Indians won. And... I'm going on baseball reference right now. I'm going to go to that season. And I'll just give you the box score of the first game. It was one nothing. Johnny Sane out-dueled um, uh, Lemon or Feller. 1948. I mean, the Braves did have bad pitching. They had that little rhyme. Johnny, um, how'd it go? Spawn and Sane and Pray for Rain. Uh, 
but even with that bad pitching, they won the National League in 48. Okay. So they beat Cleveland beat the Braves four games to two. Game one, one nothing Braves. Game two, uh, four to one Indians. Game three, two nothing Indians. Okay. Game four, two to one Indians. And then game five, eleven to five Braves. And then game six, Cleveland clinches the World Series four to three. And let's go to the eleven five game. Again, you can't see it because I don't know how to bring it up on the screen. But let's just, I'm going to tell you that the, the pitching line, total walks, and the Indians used one, two, three, four, five pitchers. They only walked four guys. So, definitely something was broke there. So, as Moni G says, Thanks for stopping by on Thursday night, too. No, oh, it was fun. You guys, did, I remembered, you know. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys did a nice job. And we're going to call it a stream here. And sorry about what happened. We just tested out some things. And we'll be back tomorrow with something else. And it won't be the 48 season, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we'll have a little New York Giants and... Uh, San Diego Chargers in a play-in game for a 1980 uh, one-and-done football tournament action PC. So, thank you to Dog Cities. Check out that wonderful channel. Also check out Moni G and ID Gesture. Anyone who watched, again, we had some weird stuff happen, so we were just testing out stuff. Um, not the most stellar stream, but I'll probably just delete this. Anyway... Thank you very much. Health and happiness. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. God bless and enjoy. Peace.